G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Well, Bitcoin been trading sideways for a little while. We had that uh, pump uh, a little while ago and now it's yeah just kind of trading sideways in that kind of $11,000 range. Roughly between sort of 11,200 to around about 11,800. And guess what happens when Bitcoin trades sideways? Altcoins start to pump. And look, altcoins have been pumping for a while. So as it says here on Cointelegraph article, Bitcoin dominance slides to a 12 month low as crypto market case uh, cap tests resistance. So Bitcoin's dominance has fallen to a 12 month low. So it hasn't done this uh, in quite some time. And over here, it even goes to say that Bitcoin's dominance relative to altcoins has fallen to its lowest point. Uh, in 12 months, with the leading cryptocurrency representing only 61% of the $359.5 billion combined in cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin dominance has slid from uh, more than 67% as of mid-May and is down from a local high of 69%. So the total market cap uh, is slowly growing for the altcoins and slowly declining for Bitcoin. Now, in total, the market cap is growing. It's not that Bitcoin's just completely dying off. It's just that people can see when Bitcoin's not doing anything, they're looking for those other big explosive gainers. And then guess what happens? As soon as Bitcoin starts to make a bit of a move, bang. A lot of people will sell off the profits that they've made from their uh, altcoins and put it into Bitcoin. They're trying to follow the trend. So what we can do is go over, go over here and have a look. So three hundred and fifty-eight uh, billion dollars. Uh, so again, uh, it's you know down a slight bit uh, from that three hundred and fifty-nine that they were talking about. But we can go over to here. So in the last twenty-four hours, Bitcoin's only moved about sort of one percent. And in the last seven days, you can see here it's been up, it dropped down, ranged, it's been up, and now it's ranging. But again, it's just between that eleven thousand two hundred dollar range to sort of eleven thousand eight hundred dollar range. But let's have a look here. Have a look at this for 24 hours. Balance of 40% Decentraland. I'm kicking myself. I was going to get some Decentraland a little while ago and I would have been in for part of that 20% pump. But anyway, that's the way it goes. Aave. This just continues to go. This is up 17% in 24 hours. Uh, what else have we got? Band Protocol still on a bit of a move. Carva, you know, 8%. They just keep going and going. Uh, what do we got? Elrond, uh, you know, it's come down. Obviously, in seven days now it's ranging, but still up seven percent. Engine coin, I'm glad I bought some engine coin. Uh, finally, in profit, I lost a little bit there. Uh, Zero X block stack, both of them. Uh, so you know, five percent in 24 hours. Kyber Network, Hedera Hashgraph. So, as you can see, there's plenty of profits happening while Bitcoin is just kind of up and down. You know, it flexes up to around about 11,800 and then it'll sort of pull back down or 11,100. And if we go over here and have a look, it's done this before. This is where Bitcoin really started to make its move and then it was just trading sideways. And this is where the alts were just pumping. Now we've got up to here and we're sort of pumping up and pulling down and pumping up and we'll you know, quite likely pull back down and probably trade out sideways for a little bit. So that's the cycle is when Bitcoin pumps, altcoins bleed. And when Bitcoin trades sideways, altcoins pump. So once you can understand uh, how those cycles work, that can help you uh, do a lot better in the in, in the crypto sphere. And particularly the traders, uh, the good traders who know that, they play off that. But look, I, I don't trade at all. I just invest. Because if you think you can time the market better than uh, basically everyone else, go for it knock your socks out but it's too hard i couldn't pick us up today down tomorrow up for the next three days down for the next three days up for the next three days down for a day up for the next five days down for the next two days like i just couldn't do that it's too hard and look if you wear it let's say you get into your altcoin down uh let's say up here so this is a bitcoin chart but you get into your altcoin up here and then all of a sudden bitcoin drops and generally everything drops with it and bitcoin goes on this run and altcoins kind of bleed off a little bit once bitcoin gets to here the altcoins they'll just surge they'll absolutely surge and if we go over to here so again let's have a look at 
DeFi, because that's the big thing at the moment. DeFi has been pumping and leading the way. Look at these gains. Makers up 1%. Chainlink's up 3%. Uh, I got some small ones here, but 4% for Kyber, 5% for 0x, 3% for Augur, Ren's down a little bit, Rap Bitcoin's up, Band Protocol is absolutely pumping 10%, Yearn Finance 14%, Balancer 40%. Uh, what, what else have we got here? Just, I'm not even sure what that is, 23%. Uh, you know, Melon 11%. You know, look at these massive gains. Bitcoin uh, is just trading sideways, up and down. And then there's just massive gains. So it's just a quick video for me today. I didn't want to take up too much time, but let's quickly go back to the Bitcoin chart. So again, we'll have to wait and see what's going to happen here. There is a CME gap back at around sort of 9,600 to around about 9,800. So it is quite possible that we could pull back to that. And if we did, it basically takes us back to here, sort of around about the support line. And then so maybe we fall down and bounce off this trade sideways. I don't think that's going to happen. My gut feeling, again, and I said this before, is that maybe that $9,800 level will be where the next low is after the next bull cycle. Most CME gaps fill, it's 90 something percent, and I think it's generally 95, 98% or so of CME gaps fill. So, you know, whether it's gonna come down and find it now or not, I don't know. But it wouldn't surprise me uh, if Bitcoin trades sideways for a little while and alts just continue to pump. But then watch for when Bitcoin has its next breakout that the alts will bleed off as everyone starts to sell their uh, profits that they've made from the alts and they try and follow the Bitcoin trend. For me, I find it easier to just invest. It's too hard to try and pick this stuff. Most traders lose money. Only a couple of really, really good ones make money. So it's easier to invest and then just hold. So that's it from me. And as I said before, these are the levels I'm looking for. So we really need to break this about kind of twelve and a half thousand dollar mark. I wouldn't be surprised if we pump up to it at some stage uh, and then fall back down into this range we are around the eleven thousand dollar range again before we eventually break out. But after the twelve and a half thousand dollar mark, we really need to test this resistance here at around about sort of thirteen thousand eight hundred, fourteen thousand dollars. And after that, really there's a little bit of resistance. Uh, at sort of 17,000, but then we're going above that 20,000 and we're just into uncharted uh, sort of territory and it'll be interesting to see where it goes. But anyway, it's Friday here in Australia, so depending on where you're watching, you know, Friday tomorrow in the States and all that, generally we have a sell-off over the weekend. It can be Friday or Saturday, uh, and then Monday uh, everything starts to pick up again. So it'll be interesting. But in saying that, the last time the weekend came, we had this pump uh, on the Friday, and then I think it was the Saturday or the Sunday, then we had that big sell-off. So interesting times ahead. Anyway, that's it from me. I'm gonna get out there and enjoy my weekend. I hope you're gonna stay, I hope you're gonna do the same. Stay safe, be kind to one another. Hopefully you're still on those gain on that gain train, and I'll see you next time.